Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you an important Shopify setting that you probably didn't know you can customize inside your website. Let's get straight into the video. I'll be showing you in detail how to customize your website's cart pop-out settings. You'll want to customize this setting to fit your brand the best and to fit the type of products that you sell. Different brands will customize their settings differently to fit their store and to fit their product. For a quick example, the brand Vans uses the cart drawer setting, which shows a clean pop-up on the side of the screen that allows customers to either check out or choose if they'd like to continue shopping. On Shopify, you'll want to open up your themes page. Then you can go in to customize your website. Once you open up your theme, you want to click on theme settings. And this is where you can scroll down until you see your cart setting. I'm going to click on this drop down and this will give us the different customization options for that cart notification type. You'll see the default setting is the pop-up notification setting. I'm going to demonstrate this setting. So when a customer adds a product to their cart, it shows this mini pop-up notification, which allows them to know that the product has been added to their cart, that they can view their cart or they can check out, and they can also just click off to continue shopping the website. That gives your customers a clean notification that also allows them to continue browsing your store. Next, I'm going to apply a different setting. So for this, I'm going to set the page setting. When a customer adds a product to their cart, it's going to direct customers straight over to the cart page where they can check out. This can be a great setting to apply if you have a one product store where you sell one specific product or one specific type of product. Basically a product where customers won't really need to continue shopping your website after they've decided to add a product to their cart. It can also be a good setting for if you offer a custom product. So let's say you offer a hoodie or a necklace that customers can customize. On the cart page, they can put in their customization ideas and maybe any text that they would like you to put on the necklace. With products like that, you might want to direct customers straight over to the cart after they add the item so that they know where to add their customization instructions. In case you do offer custom products similar to that, if you don't have an app installed in your website that lets customers put their instructions on the cart page, under that same cart dropdown that's in the theme settings tab, you can enable the cart note setting. When you enable that, any customers that are on your cart page will see the order special instructions where they can type in their customization instructions for the product. And also depending on the type of products that you sell, you can select to show the vendor of that product. The next setting you can apply would be the drawer setting. This is gonna show a pop-up that slides out on the side of the screen after a customer adds a product to their cart. So it's gonna show the pop-out where they can not only preview and manage their cart, but they can go ahead and check out. When they click check out, it just takes them straight over to the checkout page we can also set a new color scheme for the cart drawer. So when you set a new color scheme, you should see that color palette applied to the cart drawer. To take a look at the appearance of your cart drawer setting on an example of a mobile device, you just wanna click the phone icon to take a look at how your website would look on a phone. You can add an example product to the cart and you'll see it does a similar cart pop-out setting where it slides out your cart. Next, I'm gonna show you how to create a higher converting cart page for your website. Also, if you guys do like this Shopify website that you see in this video, this is one of my Shopify theme templates and I have it available on my website along with a line of other Shopify themes for in case you would like to save the time from creating and designing your website completely from scratch. Using a Shopify theme can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your different collections, your services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time. If you're not too familiar with Shopify themes, the template will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then go to your homepage You'll be able to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products most of my shopify templates are template bundles so they do include an installation guide with instructions and screenshots to show you how to install the shopify theme i have a wide variety of shopify templates for different types of business niches including skincare drop shipping and even coaching businesses my theme bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates logo templates and more if you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. You'll want to open up your cart page if you apply the pop-up notification setting, or also if you apply the classic page setting. An important setting you can add to your cart page to help to upsell your customers and promote more products even when your customers are on the cart page. This will be to add a featured collection to your cart page. I'm going to show you a no-code way that you can do this without having to install any apps. On your cart page, you'll want to scroll down and hover over your footer section. I'm going to hover over the plus icon and then click add section to template. This is where you can select multiple different types of settings to add to your website. 
There's a few different sections you can add to your cart page. So you can add a featured collection and you can also add a featured product or a collection list to feature any products that you would like to upsell customers on when they're on your cart page. I'm going to be adding a featured collection. You want to click on that section and under heading, you can set a new title. For example, you can type in, you may also like, or you can type in grab an add on and you can customize the heading size to make this text larger or smaller. If a lot of customers are ordering your products on a mobile device, you may want to customize your featured collection settings to look the best on the mobile view. So I'm going to set the heading size to medium, and you can also add a mini description to just describe the collection that you're featuring. You might want to add a description if you're featuring sort of an add on product that complements your main product. Then next to collection is where you can officially select the collection that you would like to feature here. Once you've done that, you can customize the number of products that you would like to show at a time. So for example, you can slide these bars and you can also adjust the number of columns you would like to show on desktop. So for example, the desktop view is showing four products in a row and you can set this to show five or six products in a row. If you do this, just make sure that your collection has at least six products so that it fills the entire space. If your collection also has more products than are shown on this section, you want to enable that view all button so that customers can just click view all in case they really want to take a look at that collection. The image ratio is set to adapt to image. For the appearances of the product images, the image ratio is set to adapt to image and you can change this to fit your products. So for example, if you take your product photos in a little bit more of a vertical portrait style, you can set this to portrait or you can also set it to square if you would like all your product photos to be uniform. And a fun feature that you can customize is the image shape. So you can set different image shapes if you would like. You have additional customization options for how you'd like to customize this section. Next to quick add, you can choose if you would like to apply a quick add setting. I'm going to select standard. This actually allows customers to be able to quickly just add a product to their cart while they're still on the cart page. That way they don't have to actually click on the product. They can just click add to cart. The add to cart button is going to look different depending on if your products have variants or not, because you may need your customers to be able to select what color they want before they add it to their cart. Staying on the featured collection, when you scroll all the way to the bottom of this editing section, you should see where you can edit the mobile layout settings. For example, the number of columns on desktop is set to two, which is showing the products stacked, but you can also set this to one so that customers can just see one product at a time as they're scrolling. This is a great option for if you need your customers to really see the products up close. You can also enable the swipe on mobile so that instead of your featured collection taking up too much space on your cart, customers can just scroll through to view the rest of the products. And you can enable that swipe on mobile and set the two columns option if you like this display better. And those are a few different ways you can customize your website's cart page settings. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.